Hi, I'm Harish Gurjeti, founder of Cloud Optimize. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, uh, I have an interesting topic, um, which is something I guess uh, is is critically important for every engineer and architect who works on AWS. So the topic for today is how, as you see, how to create AWS test environment easily. So the biggest challenge when you are learning or when you're testing something or when you want to explore a new um, a new service in AWS or new product uh, in AWS or if you want to uh, create content on some uh, specific product or a use case uh, the biggest challenge is uh, that we have is how to build an environment that can support that use case right so um, so in this video, what we are going to sh what I'm going to show is how you can go ahead and create a test environment easily uh, with what AWS has to offer. Um, so that's that's the topic. So let's dive in. So there are three concepts that we need to understand uh, before uh, so that we can really uh, get into the core topic, which is creating the environment before we create the environment. The first thing is infrastructure as code right that's the first one that we need I, i'll explain about second is aws cloud formation and finally aws cloud formation templates um so first let's talk about a little bit about infrastructure as code um so you have um you probably heard about this um i'm sure um though so what it all i mean what it comes down to is you can actually code your entire infrastructure right and then use it at you deploy it so that's what this really means so you can treat your entire infrastructure as a code as code and you can check in check out in git you know or, or, or store in s3 and then you can go ahead and use the code to build your entire infrastructure um, so that's really cool uh, capability or, or that's really a cool way of um, building infrastructure because you don't have to worry about multiple manual steps because you already have everything in the code and all you do is deploy the code and your infrastructure is ready right how cool is that um, because it's just like ton of time uh, and also eliminates let's say you got the configuration right and then you can deploy it as many times as you want uh, so that it eliminates the entire human error aspect of it right so that's really important so that's that's one key concept we need to understand which is infrastructure as code the second thing is aws cloud formation aws cloud formation is a product which part which belongs to the management and governance uh, side of our suite, suite of products um, so aws cloud formation what it does is it allows you to implement this infrastructure as code so what it allows you to do is it allows you to document or basically create code for your infrastructure in yaml or json and you can store it on s3 or github locally it doesn't matter where you want it and then you can use uh, amazon cloud uh, sorry aws cloud formation uh, to read that code and uh, deploy your uh, deploy your infrastructure um, so that's AWS cloud formation in a nutshell I mean it's a huge it does a ton of things but to give you an overview that's what it is finally let's talk about AWS cloud formation templates um, so once let's say you created a code uh, you, you, you you created a, a cloud formation temp, a cloud formation code uh, that you can use it with, sorry JSON code for your infrastructure that you can use with cloud formation um, then what you call it is you can save it as a template and use that to go ahead and deploy it, it you know and offer it to others so that they can deploy it uh, deploy the same infrastructure so basically what it does is it becomes a template so that those are called cloud formation templates so once you uh, once you have a working configuration working code um, let's say that working code can deploy ec2 with a couple of subnets and a load balancer and something like everything in the database then what you have really is is uh, you have a working system right so that you template you can offer it to anyone and they can do the same they can deploy it in their region and and you know without even having to know how to do it they can just use cloud formation deploy it and get up and running with the system so that's that's totally uh, you know unheard of in terms of let's say you have a, a team support team uh, who are supporting a client then what you can do is you can create a 
uh, uh, you know cloud formation template and give it to them so that it will look exactly like your client's environment they don't have to know the details but once they deploy they can they'll have the same environment to play around with so there are so many use cases around it but first i mean that is just a, a concept so so we have now we understand what is infrastructure as code aws cloud formation aws cloud formation template so now you may be thinking how does this help me create a test environment so let me go ahead and show uh, about it so here it is um, this is aws cloud formation as you see speed up cloud provisioning with infrastructure as code so what it basically how it works is you create the code for your infrastructure uh, right um, cloud formation template it's either yaml and or json and uh, you know uh, you do this and then you can either check out your template code locally or upload it to s3 and use cloud formation you know either through browser or command line and then just use push um, send the code to cloud formation and you will get a working um, environment right so here as you see here the use cases are manage infrastructure with devops scale production stack share best practices and, and much more right uh, uh, so this is cloud formation so now let's talk about cloud formation templates that comes that is really what we want right so what aws offers is pre-built templates for for a lot of their services that you can use to go ahead and quickly deploy and build your test environment so here if you go to um, this is the link i'll have the link in the in, in the description um, but this is the link where you can go to aws cloud formation templates and you have something called sample templates if you click on this and it, it takes you to cloud formation template uh, services and you have the regions here what you want to do is you want to pick a region not all the templates are available in all the regions so you need to pick a template uh, based on the region let's say I'm, I'm doing my test environment in Mumbai region so then you have you go to services and these are all the templates that are available for um, Asia Pacific Mumbai region if you look at uh, let's just say Virginia your seized and services You'll see a little bit more right um, so based on the region you will see your number of uh, services will change um, as you see auto, you have an auto scaling uh, you can click on each one of them and it'll tell, I mean basically you can scroll down and read so in each service there are again different configurations that are available right so which is so cool um, so auto scaling they have a load based auto scaling template they have a time based auto scaling template auto scaling with a group with an up, uh, auto scaling group with an update policy template then they have dynamo db elastic cache and then beanstalk a lot actually yeah, so uh, that's enough for us to do a lot of testing so what i mean how you how to use this is basically let's say you're exploring dynamo db instead of going through all of that let's just say you want dynamo db with secondary indexes you create this and then you explore or make changes to it and and you know expand it based on what you want but doing i mean rather than manually doing the initial steps you can go ahead and simply get it done right so it saves at least few hours of your time when you actually are testing uh, some uh, you know a specific thing let's just say you are testing a, a specific feature of ec2 um, then you can just go ahead and deploy it and see that test it and just get rid of it right so it saves a lot of time for uh, for you know architects or engineers uh, to build this quick test environment so you can uh, you can explore a new feature or you know you can test something that you want to uh, test and then uh, eventually if you want to get rid of it you can get rid of that environment later um, so this is this is the way uh, to have, uh, easily create your aws test environments and once you have these you can connect and you can build you can expand on top of it by yourself but this is the starting point the foundation if you can do it quickly you will save a lot of time so this is how you create um, aws um, test environments easily in the next video i'm going to show you run these templates uh, in the cloud formation stack and then show you how how it's done uh, but for as for this video this is what i wanted to share i hope this video is useful go ahead subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications because i'm going to publish a video almost every day and uh, i just want to share the knowledge uh, you know with everyone and learn from others as well um, so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks a lot and talk to you soon